We are Brooke and Gary, and for the past two years, we've been sailing around on our floating home, One Life. In our last episode, Gary's sister and brother-in-law hopped aboard One Life for the first time. Each day was a new adventure, from exploring bat caves to having coconuts and champagne on the beach. But with only a few more days of their visit left, we still have a lot to share with them. To give Marley and Scott the experience of a typical day at a remote island, we jumped right in in the morning for a snorkel and then spent the afternoon relaxing on the beach. After snorkeling, we uh, decided to come over here to Bluefields Lagoon for the night. It's a lot more common here. You can see it's like a lake. It was pretty roly at Zapatillas. And it's Marley's night to make a sundowner. Spicy Margs. It's Taco Tuesday. Spicy Marley Margs. Spicy Marley Margs. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The room is spicy. It tastes like a real margarita, right? It's just, mm-hmm. it's just it's good. small but powerful. So it was Marley's turn to cook tonight. How long did that take me? Oh, At I least an hour. We were drinking wine. To heat up know. shrimp. At least an hour. Not um, bad. <laughs> I mean, it's looking okay. It's a little watery, but. Was it hard cooking here in this limited space? The space wasn't hard. Figuring out how to ignite your oven was the biggest challenge. Um, no, I mean, there's not all that much counter space, which is a little tricky, especially when your fridge is the counter um, and freezer are the counter, mm-hmm. but we made it work, you know? Great. I just hope it tastes okay. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. Oh no, there's rice in there too. Why would there be rice? Oh. Because you dumped the rice in it. Is that rice or what is it? I don't know. What is all that? (laughs) After learning how to cook on One Life, Marley also learned about throwing food scraps overboard and making sure the dinghy isn't underneath you. Hey everyone, we talk about this a lot in our videos, but right here is a prime example. Less than a one minute walk away from where we were just filming Howler Monkeys and Toucans is this giant pile of trash. And we see this throughout our travels. The single use plastics problem is a real issue. And to tackle this, we've teamed up with Epic Water Filters, who makes reusable water bottles with a filter inside. So you never have to buy a single use plastic water bottle again. Go check them out at epicwaterfilters.com and use promo code EPICONELIFE for 20% off your order. Cheers, guys, and hope you enjoy this episode. Good morning. We are still here in Cusapin, and today we are going to go over and check out a little waterfall that's supposed to be nearby. We know nothing about it, so not sure how it'll go. But we're gonna give it a go, see if we can find it. And then we're gonna head over to the little village and we brought some pencils and crayons and books for the kids. We're gonna give those out and play with the kids for a while. And then we don't know what we'll do after that. Maybe we'll move or we might stay here another day, but it's time to go. This is Fred who lives in the nearby village and was happy to show us the way to the waterfall. The water was quite shallow at the entrance to the river, but Fred reassured us that our dinghy could make it through with no problem. And our journey begins through the uh, jungle in Panama. (laughs) 
Fred led us down the only sidewalk in the village and through someone's house before we made it to the trail. It just rained this morning. So everything's super slippery and wet. But I think we're getting closer because I hear water. After about a 45 minute trek, we made it to our destination. During our travels, we have been to many waterfalls, each one unique and beautiful in their own way. But as it turns out, it's not the waterfalls we are chasing, but the adventure we have along the way. <laughs> On our way back to the dinghy, we met Fred's friend Ellie, who asked if he could also come along for the ride. It started to rain as we headed back to One Life, but it didn't matter because moments like this are the reason we love traveling so much. Fred wants to drive us home. So here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Watching the boys having so much fun in the dinghy was certainly the highlight of our waterfall excursion. It took Fred a little while to get used to steering, but after a couple zigs and zags, he delivered us back to One Life. I think it looks okay. <laughs> we just got back to the boat. Super fun adventure and I'm making the boys some hot chocolate. I'm not sure if they've ever had that before. And then we're going to give them the books and stuff. Since it's raining, we're not going to go into the main village. We'll just send them with the boys to take to their amigos. Ooh. <laughs> <Gracias>. <laughs> We hung out with the boys until the rain stopped, and then we said goodbye because we had another anchorage to show Marley and Scott. I'm officially doing my first boat laundry. Got buckets, pile of clothes with mud and who knows what else on them. And gonna let this soak for a bit and uh, we can get all the mud stains out. I'm pretty proud of Marley. Bucket laundry is certainly not something she has done before, but she got the task done just in time for our visitors. Okay, so we're at our new anchorage for the night and we're gonna see if we can find some beers at one of these local places around here. Hopefully we'll find something. Hidden in the mangroves was this cool little spot. Ooh, we hit the jackpot. chilled here all night, but we wanted to get back to the boat before dark. No worries though, we opened Club Mermaid on One Life. <laughs> the next morning we went for a little swim. The water around the boat was quite green and the visibility wasn't great, but Gary convinced us to jump in anyway. Beyond the murky water, in the shallows, was an absolute magical sight. We 
we could not believe the life hidden under these mangroves. just finished doing a nice little snorkel in the mangroves and it was actually really cool here. Lots of starfish. And now we're gonna go check out a chocolate farm. The Green Acres Chocolate Farm was only a short dinghy ride away from One Life and it was the perfect spot for Marley and Scott to try cacao for the first time. Here's a cacao pot, a young oh, cacao pot right here. Okay. After learning a bit about cacao, we were able to try one right off the tree. What do you think? Yeah. Ah. Ooh. More cacao. I'm very sweet. I haven't gotten to the center yet. I'm going to eat a little bit. Wow. Oh, oh okay. it's bitter. It's not quite the chocolate we're used to, but it was a really cool experience to share with Marley and Scott. After a few samples, it was time for us to go because tonight we had dinner reservations. On our way to dinner, we were stopped by a local. Oh, your sister wants to charge your phone. So we quickly ran back to One Life to charge his phone. And while we were there, we decided to grab some dinghy beers. <laughs> Yep, we returned to this quaint little spot because the previous night, the owner told us he makes dinner upon request. And with this stunning view and free Wi-Fi, it was the perfect place for us to spend another night. Marley, do you have Wi-Fi right now? Maybe. <laughs> judging, you are judging me. <laughs> judging so hard. <laughs> We have a rough, rough life. We are heading back to Bocas Town this morning. It's about 7 a.m. But we want a full day of exploring in Bocas, and it's about a two hour ride over there. So we're getting the boat ready now, and then we're gonna head that way. It was perfect timing for us to get back to Bocas Town, as a package for us had just arrived. So today is like Christmas on One Life. We just got a very large package shipped in from the United States. I'm gonna open it and show you what it is. And finally, the reason the box is so big, because we got a spinnaker! Ugh. Where is it gonna fit? Debra, did you send us extra stuff? Shout out to our old buddy boat, Debra and Evan, who went and picked up our spinnaker and package. And it's our sock. And it's sock. And it's sock. This is the head. Extra 
points. Do you know how to use that? It doesn't look ready for use. I'm guessing that these need to go to something. Well, we've got a big day planned because at Tomorrowland's got its last day here in focus. So we're gonna have to play with this later. We need to go pick them up. They're over using the Wi-Fi. We picked Marley and Scott up and decided to trade in our dinghy for a golf cart. We made a quick pit stop to fill our cooler and then we were on our way around Bogus Town. We made a whole loop around the island, exploring beaches to local farms to more beaches. So we came to this cute little restaurant. So we're gonna check it out, maybe have some drinks. Uh, but it looks pretty cute. And it's here by Starfish Beach where we brought the boat the other day. Look, they have octopus, shrimp, chicken, fish, everything that's sort of rice and... Okay. After a nice lunch, we were excited to get back to Bocas Town to get ready for a night out. But it seems the universe had other plans for us. Cool, let's go clear it. Yeah, can we like help? There is no, there's no problem. All of us? No way. <laughs> hmm. You don't think we're getting the golf cart over that? stopped um, the one road out, one road in on Boca del Toro Island. And there's a tree down, a massive tree. <laughs> <laughs> we had high hopes at first thinking we were gonna be able to like, you know, just push it aside or haul the, go the golf cart over it. But um, it's a massive tree. The good news is, we have <laughs> Scott, how are you feeling right now? Way tranquilo. <laughs> Way tranquilo. Way tranquilo. <laughs> well, I think it's been about a half hour now, and everyone is still lined up waiting for the giant tree to be cleared out of the road. There is one chainsaw, and it's about a tenth of the size of the tree, so I think this is going to be a while. So we're still here waiting. It's been about two hours. We went for a little ride, but we don't want to lose our spot in line to cross. So we're back waiting and it looks like there's finally one guy using the chainsaw full time, but we're getting hungry and we're out of beer now. So just have to wait our turn. So it's like 8 p.m. now and we decided to leave the cart parked where it is and we're gonna go to town. And hopefully it'll be there tomorrow when we come to get it. But we think those guys are gonna be working all night on getting that tree moved. Luckily, a bus stopped to pick us up so we didn't have to walk very far. We made it back to the boat and I think we're all just over the day today. So Gary went to see if he could grab the golf cart now that we've eaten dinner and we can kind of just like relax for the rest of the night. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's always an adventure. This morning, Marley and Scott have to head back to the airport.
big plates. Love you guys. Bye. As we drove away to return our rented golf cart, it was hard not to think about just how fast the week had flown by. Our days had been filled with the adventures, laughs, and the ever-present struggles of boat life. As a full-time traveler, our opportunities to see family are few and far between, so it was incredibly special to be able to share a little bit of the sailing life with Marley and Scott. Bye.